everyone it's raquel of raquel's carbon cuisine and today's recipe is going to be this amazingly delicious oxtail rasta pasta and this is some flavorful oxtail alongside some creamy pasta absolutely delicious so in this bowl i have about two pounds of nicely washed also trimmed down all its fat oxtail now i'm gonna season this with a bit of salt then in with some dry jerk seasoning yes and as i often mention this consists of the finest ingredients all spice ginger the whole works so nothing else much will be needed really and this is not salty this is just pure flavor also though i'm going to add a bit of paprika which helps to give the oxtail that great color and for x amount of flavor i'm going to add some oxtail seasoning now in with some browning which is caramelized sugar and this gives the oxtail that rich beautiful color also to this i'm going to add some finely chopped herbs and spices and there is no one way to prepare oxtail normally i would blend these fresh herbs and spices but today i'm going to show you how my mother used to do it so i'm going to massage all of that in and these are some skeleton and thyme garlic and onion pimento peppers sweet peppers and some tomatoes and if you think this is looking good just imagine its smell this is smelling amazing now i'm gonna cover this down and allow it to sit and marinate for at least one hour so all these seasoning and flavors soak within so after the marinating time to my pot i'm gonna add just a tad bit of cooking oil because oxtail produce quite a bit of grease now in with the oxtail pieces and i did remove all those fresh herbs and spices you really don't want to add that in the hot oil causing them to burn no so now i'm going to add all these to get that nice sear which in fact to render down whatever fat is present also lock seal in all those lovely flavors and this is smelling so good already so now that these are nicely seared on both sides the flavor and juices are sealed in now in with the herbs and all the spices also in with some hot water as not to drop the cooking temperature and you want to add enough water to cover over the oxtails because this is going to take quite a bit of time to cook i'm going to cover this down under the lowest heat and i'm going to allow this to cook until it's nice and tender so two hours later the liquid has reduced the meat is nice succulent really really tender and this smells so so good and all that's needed now is just a bit of ketchup which helps to thicken the gravy also gives it more flavor also gonna add some fresh thyme and a hot pepper and so you're gonna taste make sure the flavor is on point now i'm just gonna cover this down and give this just another five more minutes so total cooking time of about two and a half hours and the gravy is nice and thick this is not only looking good but this is smelling amazing now it's time to prepare the rasta pasta which would only take about 10 minutes now to another pot of boiling water i'm gonna add some rigatoni pasta but feel free to use any kind you like and while it is cooking i'm going to be making a nice creamy delicious sauce so to my pot i'm gonna add some butter and i'm gonna allow that to melt then in with some finely chopped garlic and onion i'm gonna saute this just for about a minute releasing those lovely flavors and the garlic and butter makes an awesome great combination it smells so so good now in with the rasta color bell peppers which gives this pasta its name yes and to prevent overcooking just gonna give this just about a 30 seconds because you want these to regain their texture now to this i'm gonna add one cup of milk and you could use evaporated milk heavy cream milk milk of your choice then i'm gonna add a bit of cheese to this which is gonna help to make it nice and thick then i'm gonna add a bit of jerk seasoning a bit of salt you're gonna taste this make sure the flavor is nice then i'm gonna add the drain pasta now i'm gonna mix the pasta and this creamy sauce and if you want more sauce just use more milk but because i'm going to serve this with the oxtail gravy i don't want it to be too saucy but that's really really your choice and i'm just going to add a bit of fresh parsley to this and that's it it's done and this could be eaten as is this is really really delicious 
so now i'm gonna plate this up and i really could not wait to start eating this rasta pasta was creamy flavorful the oxtail was juicy most tender not to even mention the flavors this was one of the best oxtail i have ever made something really was special about this one not quite sure what it was but my family and i really enjoyed this thank you so very much for watching a full ingredient amount will be listed down below in the description box and remember if you like this video please do not leave without clicking the like button